12 o'clock midnight. Okay, I'm getting my camera! Tomorrow. Well, it is Thursday, November 21st, and I'm going to get my camera for the first time. I've never, you guys know that I've never had a camera. I've been on YouTube for three years now, and today is the day. white balance is totally thrown off because my coat is so dark anyways um, it's 11 o'clock and I am about to get my camera I reserved it last night let's go oh. I cannot believe this is real right now. Holy crap. This is real. That's awkward. <laughs> uh, over there. Okay, this is really weird. I don't know how to feel. Eventually. Hey, what's going on? So. I just thought that I would come in and just kind of like debrief with you guys about this whole uh, Vlogmas experience. I wanted to start Vlogmas off showing you guys that I finally got a camera and I wanted to just pop on and thank my patrons once again. I will never finish, like I will always thank you because this is the greatest thing that I could ever have is a camera to be able to put out as much content as I can for you guys. This makes my life a thousand times easier and I cannot stress that enough to you. It's just gonna take me a little while to get used to it. <laughs> I wanna look at myself in the like screen, but I have to look in the lens. So I got my camera on the 21st of November, which would have been the day before my birthday. And that was a joint patron, um, like all of your, I don't know what, like I don't wanna say like, so what my patrons pay for every month is extra content, but what that money goes to, and I want to make it very clear that that money does not go to anything stupid. It all goes to things that better my channel and my next thing that I'm going to try and get is a better laptop because this is my laptop currently. It is so, it's tiny. It's about 13 inches. It's very small and um, it's very old and it, I don't have the best editing capabilities on it, so my next big thing I'm saving up for is a laptop. So over on Patreon, that is where you guys can support me on my journey. Um, and now that I have a camera, I can do better content and I can create better content because I'm not using a half broken phone that has a full memory card. Like this is fresh and this is a clean slate for us to be able to have as much content as I can put out and I'm so excited. So well, I just kind of like, I, I filmed but I didn't film. So the 22nd was my birthday and I didn't want to do anything special or serious for my birthday this year. I just, I'm not a partier. I don't drink, I don't smoke cigarettes, like I don't, not that you have to smoke cigarettes to party, but like I'm just trying to like say like I don't do anything out of the norm because you know, it's just not my scene. So what we ended up doing for my birthday was going to my favorite record shop, which is called Dr. Disc here in Windsor. I've been going there since I was, like my cousin used to work there when I was a kid. So I've been going there since I was probably six or seven. Um, that place holds a very special a spot in my heart. And I, there was no other place that I would want to go for my birthday. So Marcel and I went and he looked at the CDs and I went upstairs to the room upstairs and I just, I checked out all the DVDs and I ended up purchasing, you guys can see up here, I don't, oh. And then, I am gonna take a shower. <laughs> 
sorry, uh, I, just, I actually just got home from work, so I ordered Wendy's. My mom was so gracious enough to bring that to me because I don't have a buzzer for my apartment. Uh, so, uh, what was I talking about? My birthday, oh, Dr. Disc. So I spent a lot of my time, there's a couple of movies that I'm specifically looking for, um, and I'm specifically looking for We Need to Talk About Kevin and Sorry to Bother You. Those are two of my favorite movies that I would like to own on DVD. Ugh. And Whiplash. Whiplash was there a little while ago, and I don't know why I hesitated on buying it. Anyways, um, I think my cat's knocked my stuff over up here, but a big part of growing, so 10 years ago I would have been 16 and I would have been in like the prime of my, you know, just the best years of my life. And one of the best things that happened to me was discovering Viva La Bam. And I watched this for years before 2009, but it was a big part of like, I don't know, developing my personality and who I am. I like all the music and just that, all the music that came from Viva La Bam was just stuck with me and I still listen to a lot of it. So to be able to find all five seasons on my birthday was pretty freaking crazy. So I was very excited. I've already watched four of them. <laughs> Overall, I had a fantastic birthday. Marcel ended up surprising me with a cake and roses and... <gasps> okay, so uh, today is my birthday. Today, I'm, I'm so used to looking at where my camera's lens was, but okay, anyways. Today is November 22nd. It is my 20s. Thanks, bub. It is my 26th birthday and Marcel has <laughs> something he wants to give to me on camera, so. All right. Should I, wait, I don't wanna see. Are you ready? Yeah. Right here. Oh. <laughs> Smells so nice. Thank you. Oh, that's so nice of you. And it was the sweetest thing because, you know, he used to do a lot of stuff like that when we first started dating. But I think it's really special that he didn't. That he stopped, uh, like spoiling me all the time because uh, when you do it, when like I wasn't expecting it, and I think that was the most heartfelt thing that I could have ever experienced because I wasn't expecting it, if it makes sense. Uh, so, yeah, I had a really great birthday. Yesterday, I actually spent the day, which was, what was yesterday, Sunday, which was the 24th. Uh, this right here is actually a display from my work, and this is what we keep our holiday makeup on, but I ended up getting one, thank you, Kristen, um, on, it was disassembled, so I got to bring it home and assemble it myself and put all of my stuff on it. And I never really had a shelf in this area and I think it looks so much better. So I kind of went ahead and redid my makeup area over here so that we can actually now start doing makeup videos. I got a sequin background in the bedroom and I'm so excited. So I hope that you guys are excited for new content because I sure am. So anyways, tonight, I just got home from work. Um, I picked these up tonight. So let's get candid for a minute because one of the, is my hair really weird? Um, one of the things that I am most self-conscious about, uh, over the years I've learned to really love myself for who I am. I love my curves, I love my body now, and I love who I am. I love inside and out, I'm very happy with myself and it took a lot of self-reflecting and digging deep down to you know, really find that person that I used to be, and I'm quite happy with where I am, but the one thing that I'm very self-conscious about is my teeth. I, I hate my teeth. I, when I was a kid, I took very bad care of my teeth. I didn't care. I was a, a very big tomboy, and I didn't care about my hygiene. I just, I didn't care. I also drank a lot of sugary drinks. I used to drink six, this was in high school, I used to drink six full 
700 like six of these like I drink diet Pepsi now um, But I used to drink regular coke six full 710 milliliter bottles of regular coke a day and Not only was I very overweight, but my teeth started to rot because I didn't care about my looks my hygiene Nothing I was in a very dark place growing up uh, for a while so what I ended up finding at work tonight was this, and I've heard that um, charcoal toothpaste is really good for whitening teeth, but I also always use the Crest 3D White toothpaste to begin with. So I found this. Do we have autofocus? Do we have autofocus? We do! So... This is the Crest 3D. Oh my god, this is the coolest thing I've ever experienced. I've never had autofocus. What is this? Uh, Crest 3D white uh, charcoal toothpaste. And then I got myself a charcoal toothbrush. So I guess next week, in next week's Vlogmas, I'll give you a little bit of an update and we can discuss. Uh, but other than that, I am so hungry. I am so tired. It is 11 o'clock. I need a shower. I need to wash my face and eat because I am so hungry. So, um, my next reaction, you guys will probably be seeing, I don't know what'll come out first, this, probably this. Uh, so Tuesday, which is tomorrow, I will be doing another video, which is Home Free Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. I hope that you guys are excited because it was really fun to film. And uh, I actually was requested to do a bonus video of Amazing Grace by Home Free and Peter Hollins. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. And I will see you guys in my next reaction. <sighs> I hope that you are excited. I hope that you're excited for Vlogmas because I would like to get out and do a lot more stuff this year now that I have a good quality camera. I can't wait and I'll see you soon. Sayonara suckers. <laughs>